Hi everyone, Lilac here from the Lilac Broom. Thanks for coming back in to um, get the follow-up to my Universal All Signs um, April 2022 reading where we left off in case for some reason you are confused as to why you're here. Um, the energy of the Emperor card came up as the end of April and I want to know who is the Emperor? Who or what? Who... What person, what energy, what situation, because the emperor is not an easy energy. It could be something difficult. It could be someone firm. It could be something, um, I hate to say it, abusive. Um, it could be something aggressive. And so I just want to do a one card or a clarification for each sign of the zodiac as to who and what the emperor is. So we'll start with, things I already want to jump out. <coughs> We'll start, um, just, we're just going to run from January straight through. So we're going to start with Capricorn. No, I want to start with Aquarius. So um, let's see, who is the energy or what is the energy of the Emperor for Aquarius for April? What are they en ending their month with? They're ending their month with judgment. So um, for Aquarians, this could be... Uh, a conclusion to an argument or a situation that has needed further analysis. Um, you know, this could be pertinent to certain relationships. It could be um, even a legal matter or a matter at work or something you're dealing with, um, like human resources at work about. For some of you, it could also mean um, literally going to a new job, moving past something. Um, I know it's judgment, but I, I really feel like the energy is trailing through the open door. So I just wonder like if anything is actually going to be resolved. Um, so that was for Aquarius. I know that doesn't really answer, but it certainly gives me an idea. So when I go into your your airy, your air Aquarius um, monthly reading, I'm going to be looking for that information about the judgment card. Let me write that down. Judgment. Okay. Um, Pisces. Pisces, who's this emperor? Or what is the energy of the emperor for the Pisces people? For the month of April, when they're coming into a close at April, end of April. What is Pisces learning? Pisces are the wise ones. Not that you know everything. Sometimes it, I find, okay. Sometimes I find with, um, <laughs> oof, damn girl. What the hell? Seven of swords. What I was going to say was sometimes I find with the Pisces. <laughs> that they know intellectually what's the right thing to do but how they how they issue their verdict can sometimes be a little rough and i think in this case whatever it is pisces you're 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 keeping it from somebody so there's information that you're not divulging to somebody secret information you're you are only letting somebody see a part of what's happening. Well, we'll get into that. So let me write that one down. Seven swords. Aries. Aries, baby, it's your month. How are you ending it? What's your place? What's your emperor? Who's your emperor? What's your emperor? What's this energy of the emperor for our little baby Aries who's having a glow up? Five of Swords. Yeah. I think the Emperor for Aries is um, wh whomever or whatever ends the fighting. That's the Emperor. Whomever or whatever ends the fighting is your Emperor for the month of April. Um, Taurus. Where's my Taurus babies? Oh. You got two cards, the sun and the knight of wands, two signifiers of a fire sign person. However, 
a knight of wands, maybe a little bit of an immature fire sign person is your emperor. Um, I feel like there, it is a person. So be on the lookout for whomever is in your life who's a bit of a younger fire sign person. This person is likely to become very determined to get their way, maybe from you, with you, kind of working around you. Um, they're really setting the tone for your month of April. Gemini. Gemini, who's your emperor? What's your emperor? Who and what is the Gemini emperor? Who and what? Who or what? Gemini, what is the emperor for you guys for the month of April? Okay, that's my fault. <laughs> I was like, give me a card. <laughs> so I just kind of grabbed it a little loose. Oh, there we go. The chariot. Nice. Whoever or whatever is moving issues ahead, forward. Um, I'm writing this down. Who, whoever or whatever ever moves matters forward, maybe to conclusion, maybe to... Um, Closure, possibly. That is your emperor. Cancer. Cancer, who or what is your emperor this month? And guess what, Cancer? It can't be you, because I took the emperor card out of this deck, so it's not going to show up. And Cancer, I will laugh at you if it's the empress. <laughs> oh, I'm a horrible person. Okay. Three of Cups. So your friends. Your community. I don't. Wanna, I don't really think it's your family. I'm gonna say your community. Whoever these people of whoever these like-minded people are in your life, you actually like take your emperor energy and you give it to that group, and you let them be the emperor. They're gonna make the decisions. It's interesting. Leo. All right, Leo babies. Well, little fur babies. What um, what is your emperor for the month of April? Who's trying to emperorize Leo's? <laughs> Good luck. Picturing a king with a a lion as a pet. Why I don't know. Speaking of kitties, my kitty's coming over here. All right. Come on now. There we go. We've got some. I uh, got two cards for Leo, two of wands, and nine of swords. Pisces got seven of swords. Leo got nine of swords and two wands. Looking towards the future. Um, I feel like with um, these two cards, the story they're telling me, looking towards the future and kind of like crucifying <laughs> another situation, saying what needs to be said. And then looking towards the future for a new goal or a new dream. Seems to be the emperor for the Leos. Virgo. Who is Virgo's emperor? Who or what is Virgo's emperor for the end of April? Virgo's emperor. I just realized I forgot to put some Reiki music on so we wouldn't be sitting in silence while I shuffle. The Hierophant. The authorities that are in charge remain in charge. Virgo, that's, that's who your emperor is. Your spouse, your employer. Libra. Who's your emperor, Libra? feel like whatever the answer to this question is for Libra is going to be really, really important. So, because, and I, I don't want to, you know, give you any heads up or anything. So, we'll just leave it at that. It's important, Libra. Who's your emperor? Who or what is the Libra's emperor? Libras are going to have a very um, important month. I mean, you guys are already having an important month because I didn't do this until April 8th. Awesome. Ace of Cups. That's awesome. That's new love. 
So like Libra, a feeling of a fresh new start with love or passion or even romance, but this is beautiful. That's what's dominant for you. I'm going to write that down. That's awesome. That's so great. And I love it. Scorpio. What is the, oops. What is the emperor for Scorpio? Seven of wands. It came out kind of fast. I'm not quite sure what to make of it. Let's get another one, Scorpio. Who's the emperor for Scorpio end of April? Who or what is the emperor of the Scorpio in the month of April? Whatever, whatever Scorpios are going through and coming out to the end of April with, that's their emperor. That's what's going to set things in motion. So, Five of Pentacles. A uh, feeling of, I feel like, like this person feels broken. So, like, breaking down the walls. Um, facing the losses. you Letting go of what's been lost. For Scorpio. Sagittarius. Two more to go, guys. Sagittarius for the Emperor for the month of April. What are the Saggies Emperor for the month of April? Coming into the end of the month, what will the Sagittarius face as their Emperor energy? Who or what? Who or what, Sagittarius? Who or what? Death. Big change there, Sag, big change, you know. It was profound what the um, Aries got. And then I don't remember what Leo got. It wasn't as profound. It was two cards. But this is a major arcana on top of the Emperor, basically looking at death and the Emperor. So something is changing big time, Sag. Capricorn... Last one, Capricorn, what's your what's your um, emperor for the month of April? Cappies, Cappy, Cappy, Capricorns, Knight of Swords. It kind of reminds me, Knight of Swords, like you're, I feel like Capricorns are conquering something. It's like a last hurdle, that's what it feels like. Huh, interesting. I feel like um, the Emperor for April for Capricorn is overcoming the last hurdle to an obstacle, um, last hurdle to a, an achievement. All right, so why did we do that? We did that because this Emperor was a very, very prominent card, a way to end the general reading for um, the month of April. So now we're going to go do the monthly readings, but hopefully this was insightful for you. And um, just remember what you heard for your sign when you go to your, um, your sign's monthly reading. Namaste.